address this August gathering on this auspicious occasion of the sword cutting ceremony of the Buankara Integrated Logistics Terminal. After a rather long wait, we have finally negotiated the bend that leads us to the realization of this all important project. Your Excellencies, Nananum, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and Linlock Port for Kumasi has long been envisioned. It began with the position of a parcel of land at Fumeswa near Kumasi in 1996 for the development of the port. However, due to a serious encroachment of the land, among other challenges, the Fumeswa project had to be abandoned. The authority's resilience for an inland port for Kumasi and its environs was demonstrated when it acquired a 413-acre land at Wankra in 2001 to facilitate the development of a multi-purpose dry port known as the Wankra Inland Port. Since then, the road has been tortuous and second. Shippers Authority, GPH, Minister of Roads and Highways, and a consultant to know that they are acquisitive going in front transactional advisors in the Kenya to my boom to the Jumano and see a queer be a fair person and see it and they have started processes you know, of engaging the strategic investor with the transactional advisor and like the chief executive said it can be long and enduring at the point in time president came in and give the edit again but see at the end of the day me present can the me and the Udiyo Nimu na omu ya adiye na yeye and to move on, Ghanaian indigenous business people, and function with dreams of Omo, and we do a human being. I'm glad to be here in the majestic presence of Mutufo Asantene, or Yoko BSA, and now I say to you the second, to cut the sword for the commencement of work for the construction of this very critical piece of infrastructure for Mother Ghana the Bwankra Integrated Logistics Terminal. I must at the outset express the appreciation and gratitude of government and the Ghanaian people to Jofu Asantine and Asantimai for their immense support and patience in anticipation of this project. The relentless efforts of the dynamic Minister for Transport Goku Furi Siyama, the Ghana Shippers Authority, and all of all other related institutions must also be commended. The amount of work done in nurturing and modeling this project from its inception is what has paved the way for this short cutting ceremony.